guys, it's Shannon, and today I have brought you downstairs into my craft studio to give you a tour. So if you haven't seen it yet, I actually have already done a craft closet tour, and that is upstairs like in the main living part of the house, and it's stuff that I use basically on a daily basis. However, downstairs I actually have a big workspace. And actually, not so much recently, but I used to create hair bows full time and tutus like you see back here girls accessories, baby accessories, a lot of personalized gifts and that kind of thing. And so I lived down here. Um, I created this whole studio to work for me and I just don't use it as much as I ever used to because now I am outside and I am using the workshop more. But I did want to bring you guys down here and give you a tour because I know whenever I was setting up my studio, I was looking for inspiration and I hope this tour can give you all some inspiration as well. So in the middle of this big space, I wanted a huge work table space. So what I did is use these little cubicle systems from Target with some of the regular bins that I put in there. And all of my fabric is actually in here. And then the space on top is big enough for me to work on and store stuff and organize things on. I also have a measuring tape. It's like, let me take you over there. It's like tape that is a ruler. So I like to do my sewing right here and this has made it a lot easier for me to kind of cut down ribbon or fabric um, just when I need it and not having to get a big ruler out all the time. So I have two of the cubicle systems on the ends and then a, pa a piece of MDF on the top that I just painted white. This front thing is actually um, a toy bin organizer that I took the bins out and then I put these uh, photo boxes in there instead and some other decorative boxes at the top so just lots of extra storage in the front and this side I have more just odds and ends I'm just gonna tell you like there's odds and ends everywhere um, I don't want to go through every bin and show you what's in there but plenty of storage right there on both of the sides and then also in the front here. And then above the table, I just purchased one of these light hanging kits from Home Depot and put a cute lampshade over the top to kind of diffuse the light a little. And lighting was kind of a problem down here. As you can tell, there's a window there and there's a door there, but it just doesn't let a whole lot of natural light in. So I installed a track light system here which is above my main workspace. Um, I have a couple regular lights down here from the basement and then I also, they're not on, but underneath these two cabinets hanging on the wall I also have lights underneath those for when I'm working on that space over there. So let's just kind of work our way around here. Uh, this whole system here I want to say are by closet made. So this is like two sets of drawers that I stacked on top of each other. And then there's a closet made cabinet here with shelves inside, more drawers, another cabinet. And then I kind of did this dividing space here because back here is actually what we made into my daughter's craft area. So she could come down here and craft with me and work alongside me while I was doing some work as well. So that kind of like sectioned off her space back here. And then for lighting, I also have a cute little chandelier up there that I got from Pottery Barn Kids, I believe. And she's got a light on her table, a little bulletin board, and we had A's up here. And she just kind of decorated it up to what, however she wanted it. And then back there, there's some storage. This is a shelf that's kind of holding this up. And then we had bins down there. And then another shelf system here with some more canvas bins. And that worked perfect for her. She loved being down here and working with me. And we just don't do it as much as we ever used to because like I said, I'm just, I'm out in the workshop more now and not necessarily out here working. And then tucked over here, I have my, um, my heat press, which I get a lot of questions about this too. Um, I had a swing arm one, it exploded basically, and so I went with the clamshell one that I got off 
I want to say Amazon. I think we ordered it off Amazon. And then the cart that it's sitting on is from Harbor Freight. And then I just have some bins underneath there to kind of organize things that I use with the heat press. And then going around to this side over here, I have one, two, three, three more of these cabinets with the shelves in there. And then they all have baskets in them too to keep things organized inside. I have my sewing machine, my embroidery machine, some paperwork. And then above it, I installed a shelf that also had a hanger bar underneath. So um, I used to make onesies and t-shirts and tutus and costumes. And so that's where all of this would go. I have all of these for the tutus and then hats. I would personalize hats, so these were the hat hangers. And then up here in these baskets is all the tool for the tutu, so they went by color. And then every once in a while I would go through and kind of inventory to see what all I needed ordered. So that's kind of a walk around. Let me do some more detail. Let's come back over this way. So like I said, this was basically my studio for making hair bows. And on the walls next to both sides of this window, I installed gutters, rain gutters, it's really what it is. Um, to hold my ribbons or basically these were I have ribbon everywhere but these were like the bigger one and a half two inch size ribbons and then over here were some of the smaller sized ribbons the printed ribbon and then underneath them I just used some command hooks and a tension rod and some shower curtain hooks and hung some baskets down here so like just things that I needed to keep at hand, like a stapler, um, punches, pens, glue stick, scissors, my rotary tool, tool and um, like elastic I kind of kept in there. Uh, this has been a good storage system for ribbon too. This is all my like bulk ribbon that I bought. Let's see, these were I think, yeah, 50 yard rolls of ribbon. So that worked really nice for that, but you could put baskets in there or jars in there to kind of organize little odds and ends. And then I really did try to take up and maximize all the space that I had. And I had extra room on the sides of my chair. So I bought these smaller plastic drawers and this is where I kept all my solid color ribbon, all the different sizes, so like pink and red, orange, and yellow. And then on this side, green, blue, purple. And then I was always in these groups um, ordering like custom printed ribbon and um, like Gymboree matching sets. So like this was from a Gymboree line forever ago and I would match Gymboree outfits with bows to match so that's all that kind of special ribbon and then I have my TV there and like a ribbon guide for where I was ordering all my bulk ribbon from and then up here was like elastics for headbands and flowers and that kind of thing and then on up here in these jars I kept all of my seasonal ribbon so a lot of it that's like Christmas and Halloween and it's kind of overgrown right now but polka dots there's Valentine's Day more Christmas I just had ribbon everywhere <laughs> everywhere and everywhere but I did really like this space too um, when I was pricing, like I would work, I would work a lot here and then I would come over here and do pricing and things cause it would get messy where I was working. So I liked that additional space to kind of do other work. So I, and I also liked having this bulletin board here. I would keep business cards and orders and just whatever. Um, all of my um, pricing stuff, marketing stuff, I would keep in there extra stuff. Um, I did put this 
beadboard up to kind of section off that other side and that worked really nice and that was really easy to do. And then this over here just had like bow centers and I don't know, stuff, button covers, felt things. I would make pacifier clips and I just, I was, I, so I mean, I was just, I just had my hands in anything and everything I could get my hands on. And so I needed to make sure that I was super organized and I could find what I needed when I needed it. So that is basically me talking and walking you guys around my studio space and I'm going to insert some pictures here too so you guys can see kind of more up close and in detail what things look like without me rattling on about it. much you guys for joining me on my studio tour. I hope that it brought you guys some inspiration and maybe helped you get an idea of what you can do with your own space. You don't need a big space to have a craft studio, but maybe a little something here or there will work within your space and I hope that that helps you. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Check out that other craft closet tour video that I will have linked down in the description box below. Hit the subscribe button and that bell because I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and that way you won't miss out on them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys.